G'day, welcome to Mark and Sam After Work. Today I've got a new little challenge that we've come up with, maybe other people want to do it as well, but it's a little challenge for us in a rimfire challenge, um, sort of similar to our PRS ELR challenge we did um, a while ago, a few years ago. This one is just a little ELR competition, I suppose is what you'd call it. For us it's a little exercise, but I suppose you could call it a competition. Um, and you can use whatever level rifle, it is standard ammunition we're using, you can use whatever you want obviously. Um, what we're using is the CCI standard velocity ammunition, um, as to it can go on any 22, and then the level of your rifle really comes down to whatever you want it to be. We're pushing the boundaries on what we're trying to do, we want to do it as well as we can, um, and so we're doing it very thoroughly. I'll go through and explain the rifle at the end of it, but you could do it in all sorts of different levels. So let's start with, um, that's what it is, standard ammo, two magazines. This challenge is just two magazines, two tents, so 20 rounds. Um, unlike most um, ELR competitions, there'll be a course, three targets, five targets, whatever it is, and you'll be five shots or three shots or whatever it is. You've got to get, got to get a hit to move on. Um, time limits, that sort of stuff. What we are going to do with this competition, with our little thing, is it's you only need to hit the target to move on you don't need to move three you can shoot all 20 on one target you're basically getting it done and you're getting it done in the pace that you can get it done in a moderate level but it's 20 rounds so that means that's all you got you're going to try and get them all done what i have out there in targets we have at 100 yards we've got i think it's 106 yards we've got a two inch gong <laughs> well that's actually a two and a half inch gong a little round gong at 201 yards, we've got a four inch gong or a four inch square plate, um, steel plate. Um, at 416 yards, we've got a six inch plate. Um, so coming down under one, under one or just on one and a half MOA. And then out at 605 yards, we've got a 12 inch plate. So it's two MOA out there. So 12 inch out plate there. So two, two and a half inch, four inch, six inch, and 12 inch is what we've got going on and 100, 200, 400, and 600. So that was the, that was the course. Put one on target there. Right Just dialed in at five MOA. Okay. It should be about right. We're good to go. Let's see where it goes. Awesome. Wham, where'd it <laughs> get him? I think it's down the bottom. Yep, six o'clock bottom edge. Okay, well that's on. We'll that's move straight on to the next one. Righty-o. So what's the next one? You gotta roll this down. Yep. So that you go with six MOA for the record for that shot there. Righty-o. Oh, there it is there. 201. 201. left Ooh, that wind's yeah. picked up isn't it which records the target left got him nice top left corner okay well that's on <laughs> okay okay so next one's out at uh how many am away for that so that's 25 am away cool and i was holding a full target and a half to the right 416. Cool. Okay, so. Yep, ready. Right over there. Yep, tall and left. Two targets left, one target tall. Okay, so holding right out there. Back down to, back down to a neat 80. Righty eight. Oh, bottom right. One target low, one target right. Because the target tool. Bottom right corner, just off.
Oh, low and ricochet on. Ah, uh, no, so that would have been a hit. And the so top left corner is a nice hit. And we okay. would have seen the, the... Well, we're going to take it on this one. Yep. We've only got eight to go. <laughs> Try and get on at 600. Okay. So, okay. Well, that'll do for... It's hit on deal. Okay, I'll get the MOA in a sec. It's a nice little hill to shoot into, isn't it? Sorry, mate. It's a good little hill to shoot into. Yeah, well, it moves up there nicely. We're shooting from a hill, so this is a long way for a 22. Sure but is. it's a little coarse. Okay, let's just see. Right here. Right oh, and that. low. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that was close, wasn't it? It was. Okay, it's taking a lot up there. 160 minutes of elevation. Top right, one target right, half target tall. <laughs> oh, just off bottom right, corner, bottom left corner. <laughs> Left, uh, level at the bottom edge, one and a quarter targets left. Uh, plate is moving. I, I heard a ting. Yep, yeah, plate is moving. Um, I haven't seen the impact yet. So, Yay. that's right, well, that's about good. Okay. So, I think you might be up, Sambo. Sure we'll load thing. Load up two magazines and see how you can go. Rightio. So, you dialed in at six. Yep. So we go, middle of that target, 100 yards. 106 yards. Beautiful. Okay. Where'd you hit him? Just a little bit to the left, yeah, that'd be the wind. Yep. So good. Okay, so now you want to dial up to 25 MOA. 25. 20. And I've got to go around there. Righty -ho. Let's see where you go. Got him. Got him. Not I don't know. What bottom. Oh, it might have been on the on the um, chain. It moved in properly. Does it count? Should we do another one? Uh, you've only got X amount of rounds. <laughs> oh, okay. Three. So, so let's see where you go. Now you're going to hold over yeah, with that. Have... It's a second focal power scope. So hold the same amount of wind and see where you go. Right Okay, you saw that? Yep, so we've got to Okay, do so hold yeah. a little bit more wind. Don't worry about elevation at the moment. It's a 22. It's probably going to vary a little bit. Okay, here we go. Yep. Whoa, just I... Just over the top. Just over the top. The ricochet went on further, but it was, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I might do that again. Do exactly the same again, yep. Wow, just right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay, so that just to the left top corner. Yeah. So come down a target and across right a target. Yes, Yay. look at that. Yay. Nice heavy smack. Awesome. Just above Sanders, tiny bit right. I get to move on. <laughs> okay. Right Just. <laughs> okay. So up on to the other target. Right here. So, yep. so you got up there, so you're dialed in 160 like that. Just right let's just do that. I had 10, I had that 10 on that bottom right hand corner. So okay. just see how you go. Just lob it off like that and see if the conditions are the same. Here we go. See that? Oh wow, it's tall, isn't it? Okay, so let's just do another one exactly the same to start off with. 
Oh, just left hand side, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, same place. I'm just trying to sneak over. Yeah, okay. Oh. Uh, for 600 yards on standard ammo. Ah, I'm wind. holding three o'clock. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is that uh, is it? You want I, more? I don't know. No, I'm out. Oh, okay. Oh, well. It was pretty close. It was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, well done. Um, it proved to be very challenging. 100 and 200 for both me and Sam. We're very straightforward. The rifle's been zeroed at 50 yards as a normal rimfire would be, and then on without any problems. Wind wasn't too much a problem. Good guess on the wind, I should say, for, for what was going on there. But that was pretty easy on that side of things. 400 yards, proof, proof for both of us, a big stumble. 400 yards, a six inch plate, meant that were 416 yards, six inch plate. Some erratic wind, tw standard 22 magazine or 22 ammo. So for those people who don't realize, your speeds get a little inconsistent. So some little high ones, some little high, low ones, as you'd expect for the standard ammo. Um, but still both of us got on there. I got on with eight shots to go and managed to get a hit at the 600 yards. Sam got on there at eight shots to go also, so did the same level, really good work, but it wasn't so kind. And I listen, I put it more down to luck, equally the ELR, once you move into this sort of stuff and 600 yards with a 22, um, with standard ammo, you are starting to get into where it's about how you hold your mouth <laughs> a little bit, but still, fun to do um yeah so not nice on that sort of level i think it's worth the challenge i think it's worthwhile people set it up at whatever level okay talking about the rifle i thought i'd go through it briefly for you so you can see what we've actually got going on here um largely it's just a 455 c or cz 455 um in their little varmint which it comes with this little muzzle brake doesn't really do anything of course but that is the rifle there Slightly light and trigger. It's down at um, just under two pounds in the trigger side of things. Actually, it's 1.5 pounds on this one. It's a while ago. Um, and it's got a little bolt knob on it. So nothing complicated there at all. We're just using the 10 round CZ magazines. The bit that looks flasher is the ACC or the MDT ACC stock. I chopped it back and mounted one of my component Ds on the front so I could run my bipod. I suppose you could say that's a bit of promotion. I like my bipod could use anything on this but it turns into a nice little rig on that sort of score um, and if I turn it around also it then gives us for tripod shooting and that sort of stuff we have the full arc rail on the bottom all the way backwards and forwards and have our bipod system up the top there that tucks away nicely so that's um, that side of it over here I'll put that leg back down um, on the top here it's just got some little adapters to take the rail to be able to fit a full size um, scope on it and then I've got one of the floating scopes. This is a little NX8. This is actually a second focal plane scope Nice for doing this job here, but but basically what I use for all this sort of stuff It's the 50 mil objective rather than the normal attackers in the 56 But still a great scope and you could do it at a lot lesser level and still have a lot of fun doing this Just some adjustable rings Normal decent little scope you're going to do this sort of stuff But as for this sort of stuff the nicer scope you got the better dialing you got they're easy it is to do this sort of thing but like I said different levels you could do it at the one bit it's getting a little bit weird get a little bit out there is being able to get to 600 yards meant that I needed 150 minutes of elevation with the standard ammunition so it is for those guys who've who want to either adjust their scopes further or got other ways to do it but moving into a true ELR shot at 150 minutes of elevation so what I've done is very simple I've got one of my forward mounts which clips to the bipod rail on the, or sorry, the Picatinny rail on the bottom, and then a night force wedge. So that turned into nice and easy. Night force wedge on, this is a 100 minute night force wedge. Um, that at 100 minutes, dial this back to, was actually 160 minutes. When I did the maths, it was 150. Actually getting on there was 160. Um, so it's still that shot consistent enough. As I said, standard CCI, standard velocity ammunition so you find your muzzle velocities can change a little bit with that sort of stuff and just in that sort of level ammunition so it was a little bit high a little bit low dealing with wind but we still got on got a nice little tang on a 12 inch plate at 600 yards um, and lots of yeah, lots of fun just in the way of being able to do in very 
harmless fun with the 22 long rifle. I shouldn't say harmless, they're, they're a decent little round, don't get me wrong. But the type of thing you don't need this level of rifle, you really could do it at a moderate level and have lots of fun with your own little ELR competition. And as I said, you could do it various ways. You could do the time limit, three shots on one and not move forward. I'm trying to give a little bit of flexibility through the fact that it's rimfire. So for, for this little competition for us was two magazines and then get to where you get to. So if you can get it done in four shots, you're a legend, awesome. Um, if you don't get it done, hey, listen, as long as you're getting close, which Sam certainly did, and listen, I'm always almost was in exactly the same place, but one of us got on at 600, one didn't. But like I said, standard CCI ammunition uh, in a little 22, 600 yards. Let's not hope for miracles. Let's just take what we can get. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoy it. hope you like the idea. We're going to run some other ones through this over this season if it goes the way I hope it goes. Uh, but listen, anyway, fun to do regardless of what we get done later. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking in. We'll catch you next time.